Make Kansas Wetlands Education Center part of every trip to Cheyenne Bottoms. Wetlands are unique in Kansas, and Cheyenne Bottoms, a 41,000-acre wetland, is the largest marsh on the interior of the United States, designated internationally important for migrating shorebirds and waterfowl. Check out our exhibits explaining what wetlands are and why they are important, the animal and plant communities seen at Cheyenne Bottoms, and dioramas, and hands-on exhibits telling the Cheyenne Bottoms story. The Cope Wetlands exhibit has interactive exhibits, including an augmented reality watershed sandbox, one-of-a-kind wetland floor projections game, kids' activity area, and a bird watching and build a bird station. The center offers a variety of public programs, everything from bird watching workshops to stargazing events and nature craft workshops to drop-in STEM activities. Shop the Wetlands gift store with a variety of nature-themed items, field guides, and bird feeders, Kansas-made items, and children's toys. Make Kansas Wetlands Education Center part of every trip to Cheyenne Bottoms. Welcome to the Kansas Wetlands Education Center. We are so excited that we were awarded the, the Star Wetlands Center Award this last year. We, we just think that it's such an honor to be, to be recognized with so many other wetlands centers across the world. We want to show you guys a little bit about what our center is and why it's unique. So let's go check it out. The Coke Wetlands Exhibit Hall is one of the features of the Kansas Wetlands Education Center. Our exhibits here kind of tell the story about what this area is. In all, the exhibits kind of do three functions. They explain what wetlands are and why they're important. They talk about the animals and plants that can be found in this area. And then they tell the Cheyenne Bottom story um, through various exhibits and, and uh, displays. We're sitting here at Cheyenne Bottoms, which is where the Kansas Wetland Center is located. It's in the heart of Kansas, right in the center of Kansas, and it's considered to be the largest marsh on the interior of the United States. And so we have a lot to talk about, about why this place is so unique. Um, several exhibits like this show its importance to the central flyway. Um, all the birds that stop here along their migration path and the Cheyenne Bottoms provides them a stopover during that migration. We can talk about how the, the, the birds move through the area and, and when they are stopping here, and about why this is a, an important flyway and a byway, bringing both humans and animals together. One of the most popular exhibits that we have is our watershed augmented reality sandbox. Um, the idea of this exhibit is to show where the water comes from for Cheyenne Bottoms. For the most part, um, the wetland is supplied by natural runoff from various watersheds in the area. This exhibit shows how people can make their own watershed using the sand as well as the, the software to give us a topography of the sand in the box. And then it allows you to show water running off down into the low spots. And that is basically how the hydrology works here at Cheyenne Bottoms, of uh, creating these, these upper areas and the lower areas and having water run down and, and collecting in the, the lower parts. So the 41,000 acre basin is basically supplied by a giant watershed. And this is a great way of illustrating that to our visitors. One of the main things that our exhibits try to do is to talk about the plant and animal communities that make Cheyenne Bottoms home. We have several exhibits that, that illustrate that very well. We have one that talks about the shorebirds, since that's such a huge component of, of the wetlands here. We try to, to have people learn a little bit about the feeding zones that the wetlands provide for the shorebirds based on their, their, their height and, uh, and where they feed in the, in the different zones of, of the wetland. We also have a Build-A-Bird station since birds are such a huge, um, huge component of the wildlife that's here, um, people can take birds and bird bodies and heads and, and legs, and they can make either correct birds or they can make up their own birds um, based on different adaptations that those birds might have uh, using these, these different, different legs and, and bodies and heads. Um, so kind of a fun way of showing the diversity of birds that stop here at Cheyenne Bottoms. So similarly, we can do something similar with plants here as well at Cheyenne Bottoms. Um, there's some interesting plant communities that are very important to the habitat and wildlife of Cheyenne Bottoms. And so um, using, using these um, 
various plants that we've chosen that are that are here at Shine Bottoms, they can put them in the zone of the wetland where they live as well. So cattails uh, being an, an emergent plant that's important here. Um, and just like with the birds, we have a build a plant station as well where, where people can choose leaves, roots, and stems and put them together to build various various types of plants that live here at Shine Bottoms. Well, continuing on with our animals that live here at Cheyenne Bottoms, we like to tell the story of the smallest animals that, that are, are make Cheyenne Bottoms home, and that's our aquatic invertebrates. They're such an important part of the food chain here, and uh, what allows so many other animals to thrive here at Cheyenne Bottoms, too. Um, some of the best programs that we do are talking about these, these aquatic invertebrates because so many people don't know about them, and they've never seen them because of where they live. And so we like to, to illustrate them, show, show a little bit about the unique forms of different, different invertebrates that live at Cheyenne Bottoms and what that means for the health of the wetlands here. We can also talk about the larger animals that inhabit Cheyenne Bottoms. And so we have panels talking about the mammals, reptiles, turtles, and amphibians that, that call Cheyenne Bottoms home. And along with those, there's little um, viewing panels that go through and show the different animals that live here at Cheyenne Bottoms and give some interesting facts about them. Um, along with this, we have a nice interactive frog call box where visitors can press buttons and listen to some of the frog courses that go on here at Cheyenne Bottoms. We found out a long time ago that um, having live animals is such an important tool that we can use in our educational programs. And so our classroom is full of about 25 to 30 different species of live animals, pretty much all that can be found right around this area. And we use most of these for our programming and um, people tend to really like critters in general. And so being able to see the live animals uh, in person is a, is a great way of, of teaching about these incredible animals that are here at Cheyenne Bottoms. The mission of the Kansas Wetlands Education Center is to educate the public about wetland communities, their importance, and the need for conservation and restoration with emphasis on Cheyenne Bottoms and Quivira National Wildlife Refuge. KWEC welcomes 8,000 drop-in visitors each year to enjoy our exhibits, classroom animals, and 16-minute video about Cheyenne Bottoms. Our educators provide programming for over 15,000 contacts each year through 700 educational programs. One of our largest initiatives is the opportunity to share about Cheyenne Bottoms with all of the second grade students in our county each fall. Students rotate through stations on the water cycle, night creatures of Cheyenne Bottoms, a nature hike, and more. Likewise, our most popular program each year is a butterfly festival. As the monarch butterfly migrates south to Mexico in the fall, it can be found nectaring or roosting at the center. Annually, hundreds of visitors visit the center use nets to capture the monarchs, and place tags on their wings that help scientists monitor the populations, habitats, and conditions the butterflies may encounter on their journey. Other popular programs utilize our classroom ambassador animals, allow students to wear waders and get into the marsh in search of aquatic invertebrates they identify, and dissect owl pellets. We travel to classrooms and organizations within 70 miles of our center offering programs at no charge, or groups can travel to our center for field trips. Camps for a variety of age groups are popular each summer. Nature crafts are off offered often. We plan a variety of public programs around events like Earth Day, the Perseid Meteor Shower, and love to provide hands-on opportunities for families. Check out our website at wetlandcenter.fhsu.edu to learn more about our programs, watch online presentations, and take a virtual tour of Cheyenne Bottoms. The tour includes drone footage, 360 degree videos, interviews with key stakeholders, interactive games, and allows you to feel as though you are in our wetland. Another project we encourage people to check out is a 32 page fully illustrated children's story about a migrating American avocet, the bird on the logo for the Kansas Wetlands Education Center. It is beautifully illustrated and tells the story of shorebirds, importance of wetlands, and highlights Cheyenne Bottoms. We hope you enjoyed learning about our Star Wetland Center.